Wow, that was pretty cool, Doogie. I saw some starfish, a big crab, lots and lots of seaweed. Oh, hello, I'm Billy Blue Hair, and this is my snorkeling buddy and faithful dog, Doogie. Say hello, Doogie. Uh-oh, looks like you swallowed some seawater. It tastes a little different from the water we usually drink, doesn't it, boy? If you've ever been swimming at the beach and accidentally swallowed a mouthful of ocean water, like Doogie, then you know the water can be pretty salty. Actually, really salty. In fact, if you took all the salt out of the ocean and poured it over all the land on Earth, it would make a layer more than 500 feet thick. That's taller than 27 giraffes standing on top of each other. Hmm, think of all the french fries that could go with that salt. So, here is the question. Why is the ocean salty? Where did all that salt come from? Well, there are a few different reasons. First, let's go back in time a little bit. Oh, say, four billion years. That looks about right. Now, way back when the Earth first formed, lava activity along with salty gases from deep underground rose up through the cracks in the Earth, sending those salty gases into the sky, where it fell to Earth when it rained, eventually making its way to the ocean. Those guys look pretty cool for, uh, salt. Now that explains why some of the salt is in the ocean, but certainly not all of the salt. There's another reason why the ocean is salt. Rocks. That's right. From big boulders to tiny pebbles, ocean water is salty because of rocks. But how do rocks make the ocean salty? Check this out. Going up. Now, whenever it rains, the water coming out of the clouds has carbon dioxide in it. Carbon dioxide is just a gas that floats around in the sky. This gas makes rain slightly acidic. That just means it's like water with a built-in scrub brush. Once the rain lands on planet Earth, the water and carbon dioxide work together to erode small pieces of minerals and salt from the surfaces of rocks. Rivers and streams carry the minerals, including salt, downstream, eventually flowing into the ocean. And over time, voila, a big salty ocean. Did you know that the ocean doesn't have the same amount of salt everywhere? Some parts of the ocean are saltier than other parts. The water around the North and South Poles has the least amount of salt. That's because the oceans in those areas get lots of fresh, non-salty water added to it from rain and snow, as well as from melting ice. One of the saltiest parts of the ocean is the Red Sea between Africa and Asia. The Red Sea is so salty because it doesn't get much fresh water. Did you know the saltier the water, the easier it is to float? That's because all that salt makes the water denser. The denser the water, the more buoyant or floatable you become. Um, now that's a little too buoyant. So, ancient gases from deep within the earth, as well as salt from rocks on the land, make the ocean salty. Just a little something to remember next time you get a mouthful of seawater. Right, Doogie? Oh no, not again. And a fish too? That's just not right. You know, if you're thirsty, I think there's some lemonade back at the beach. Race you? Whoa, I guess Doogie liked that idea. See you again soon. Hey, save some for me, you salty dog. Sweet. 